From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Diagnostic Radiological Services, or DRS, has unveiled its dedicated Computer Tomography Positron Emission Tomography Scanning Facility in Alberton, which is currently the only one of its kind in the Johannesburg South region. Moliné Arnoldi visited the facility. The DRS CT PET facility, which neighbors the Netcare Alberton Hospital, comprises a dedicated reception, injection room and hot lab section, which is used to store and dose isotopes and other radioactive chemicals which detect diseases, as well as the world-class GE Healthcare CT PET scanning machine. The facility was completed late in 2022, with the first patient having been scanned in March this year. Anatomical, or CT, and functional, or PET, scans traditionally occur separately. However, this machine combines the two for more accurate determination of the extent of diseases a patient may have, and in a quicker time frame. The machine also allows for more targeted treatment owing to imagery at a molecular level. The machine's ultra-sensitivity enables the specialists to inject lower doses of radioactive chemicals, making it safer for patients and healthcare providers to use. The types of isotopes injected into the patient depends on their suspected disease, as informed by oncologists, for example. The CT PET scanner can show at a detailed level where increased cell activity is taking place, be it inside the bone or glands of a patient. PET scans can detect and stage most types of cancers, often before they are evident through other tests. Nuclear Med Nuclear Medicine Physician Dr. Florette Reinecke tells us more about the combination of CT and PET. So you've got a CT scan which uses computer tomography, and that gives very high anatomical detail. So we use very fine slices and it shows the anatomy of the body very well. Then you have the PET scan and what we use is a gamma camera and we inject isotopes. So this isotope is then going to collect in parts of the body of high activity areas of inflammation and tumours. And that's going to give us a better idea of the function and the metabolism of what we're looking at. And then we merge the two imaging, images together. So each on their own have their own benefits, but when you marry them together, you get a much higher sensitivity. So you can see much better what's going on when you, when you marry the two modalities. A patient is typically scanned for 7 to 12 minutes, with the radioactive material starting to work itself out of the body within 110 minutes of injection, meaning patients do not have to isolate themselves following treatment. The CT PET imagery technology was the only one lacking in DRS's portfolio, which made sense for the company to invest in one, as well as the fact that patients from the area were often traveling far and wide to the northern parts of Johannesburg and Pretoria for combined CT PET scans. DRS Director and Practice Head Dr. Albert van Niekerk explains how the Medimix facility within which DRS is located has become a centre of excellence for oncology. This Medimix building became a centre of excellence for oncology. People come from far to, to have their treatment here and again, a PET CT is something that is essential for oncologists. We, we use it for other, for other purposes as well. Neurology, there are neurology, um, use in neurology, urology and uh, quite other, uh, lots of other specialists use it, but uh, oncologists use it a lot and, and for that reason it, uh, it, it's, uh, um, this, this Medimix building, oncology centre wouldn't have been complete without a PET-CT, again because the patients will, uh, will get a referral here, have to go all the way to the to, uh, north, northern part of Joburg or, uh, or, or, or uh, Pretoria. GE Healthcare is a preferred vendor for DRS, with the companies having been partners for many years. GE Healthcare provides continuous maintenance and imagery improvement services on the machines that DRS uses. Precision Healthcare, with more accurate diagnoses and targeted treatment, is becoming more important for oncologists and other specialists in the nuclear medicine value chain. GE Healthcare and DRS are both committed to providing more personalized care by helping healthcare providers see more, see smaller, see clearly and see changes. GE Healthcare has a rich history of introducing new technology in South Africa, particularly Gauteng. GE Healthcare country manager Marlon Burgess shares his insight. Well, GE uh, Clovis Technologies Services uh, as people uh, generally would like to partner uh, you know, with healthcare professionals to be able to provide uh, better healthcare to patients. Uh, GE is at the cutting edge of, of technology, especially when it comes to AI. I think a lot of the features of the, the machines that are under discussion today 
uh, future advanced AI technologies. And I won't answer you know, the technical details. We've got the technical experts over there to answer those questions. But just generally, um, we want to focus on precision healthcare. And I think that the, the doctors here will, will share with you what exactly that means in terms of precision healthcare, being able to, to you know, have the right diagnosis, the right patient at the right time. And that's, that's what GE seeks to do with its partnerships, especially with the uh, oncology uh, spectrum of healthcare professionals. You know, the oncologists, radiologists, nuclear medicine specialists, everybody involved in the value chain of oncology. GE is an extension of that, that health ecosystem. Going forward, DRS can potentially treat patients using Theranostics, which involves the use of one radioactive drug to identify a disease and a second one to deliver therapy to treat the main tumor and any metatistic tumors. Van de Kerk elaborates. I can actually mention that we've already had our first set of uh, Dr. Rodriguez ter Theranostics uh, treating patients with isotopes. So the first, it was done in, this, in, in the Medimix facility already. Which is, which is exciting, as you said, that diagnostics is really a new field and it's going to be an exciting field. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.